Welcome to Learning PHP. I'm Brian Max, and I'm going to be guiding you through a lot of PHP, the language, with some really, really good examples. We're going to learn quite a lot about PHP. Now, what we have here is a nice way to actually go through the sample applications. So in addition to saying hello and welcome to the training course, I'm going to guide you through the different samples that we're going to be going over. And I think you're really going to appreciate the level of detail that we're going to be placing into this learning PHP title. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get started. We're just going to do some basic things. PHP has a wealth of different settings that you can manipulate and change. And one of the first and few things that you do is to find out that information and work with what is called the PHP any file. So we're going to explore that beyond that. After we install the different products on Mac and Windows. We're going to talk about different software that you're going to need and things like that. And once we get that all set up, once you get your web server set up with the sample files, because you're actually going to be able to browse this particular bunch of sample projects like a website. We have this nice little flash interface here. We're going to jump into the scripting and how to actually start getting into the basics of PHP. So we're going to learn how to embed PHP into HTML, very, very easy to do that. And it's a really great language to just work with your web designs or to even handle a lot of text processing or XML processing or even image manipulation. We'll go over the basic syntax and we'll just take a look in a very, very nice and robust way. We're going to take a look at different code snippets right within the interface here. And we're also going to be able to at the top of the page, if you want to actually go directly to that page, because we're using a framed environment here, if you want to go actually to that page, you can just copy this and paste it right onto your line there. And then you can actually just go right to that page and see how it works. We'll use this quite often and it makes for a very nice way to explore the features of PHP doing some very interesting things. So we're going to explore the scripting language, the basics of the language in general how to set variables, what variables are, how to get the variables to actually echo onto the screen and things like that. And we'll jump into the details of any good language. And that is dealing with if else statements and switch statements, which are very similar to if else. We'll talk about looping and things like that, how to create loops and how to structure your web pages so that you can actually go through and make things work the way that you want them to very, very nicely while loops as well, just an alternative to working with four. We'll show how to break and continue out of these loops and also how to avoid the infinite loops that can really come up and kind of make your web page or your web server act sluggishly if you can't actually detect those infinite loops very easily. We'll go into arrays. Arrays are extremely powerful and in PHP it's extremely, extremely powerful even further than being extremely powerful. There are so many functions within the array functions and you can do so many wonderful things. We're going to explore that in great depth. As you can see, we're going to be dealing with many different examples, iterations, the built-in array types, things like that. And we'll work with multi-dimensional arrays as well as flipping, reversing, and shuffling your arrays. Let's say you had a card game, for example, and you wanted to shuffle a deck of cards. Well, we have 52 values here and you can see that once they're placed in order, then we can just have a little shuffle command there and we can shuffle those quite nicely. Now it's not going to be your casino based shuffling, but you get the idea. It's really nice to be able to do that. And again, from the interface, this is going to work on your Mac and your Windows anywhere there's a web browser. And this is on your IE or Safari or Firefox, whatever you prefer we'll talk about strings. Strings are really a favorite of mine when working with languages and the more string functions, the better. It really, really is a great way to work and manipulate your data. If you have a lot of powerful string functions and PHP does not leave anything out. It definitely has a lot of ways that we can manipulate strings, finding their lengths, concatenating them together, finding substrings, things like that, find and replace, cleaning up your strings, there are so many different functions for working with strings. I even have a more about strings. Now, when you're dealing with your websites and things like that, you have a lot of different needs. You want to escape your strings. And that means putting in special characters and things like that. And you want to be able to control the output very, very nicely. And we'll go over details of how to do that. 
parsing strings becomes very, very important. You want to go through and actually find values out there. Maybe you're just dealing with the values that you're getting back from the web server as far as what you're posting to a form. Maybe you're getting some sort of routine back from your shopping cart provider and they're passing back data to you. Well, you can handle that very, very nicely. Maybe you're just dealing with a lot of data in general. Now, when I first started out with programming, I did a lot of data cleaning and I got to be quite good at it. I had to write a lot of my own functions and C and things like that. It would have been nice to work with something like a PHP, but that wasn't around at the moment. So now I look back and say, wow, would life have been a lot easier with PHP? Well, we're going to deal with regular expressions and formatting our output. And besides all those great different ways of working with the language itself, we're really going to explore in great detail actually working with web forms, how to do some really, really robust things with web forms. We're going to do some real-world examples of how to deal with all the different things that you can process within your web forms or a great deal of them. We'll deal with server variables and post and get. Also how to work with checkboxes and radio buttons and selection lists, which can be dynamic as well, as well as hidden fields and, of course, great details on form validations. Functions. Functions are definitely going to help you out. This allows you to write your code in such a way that you're going to be able to place that code in what is called a function, and then you can reuse it as many times as you want to. You can put them in special files, like include or require files, and you can work with global variables, and we'll take a look at that as well in the functions section, and other great things as well. When we're dealing with databases, this is going to be very, very critical to understand MySQL, understand how to create queries, how to get your data into a database, how to administrate that database using PHP MyAdmin or other software. We'll explore that. We'll look at different ways that you can do this. I've spent a lot of time learning many different ways of working with websites, many different ways of working with scripting languages, and we're really going to explore the different software that can really help you out that's not so expensive. Some of it is expensive, some of it isn't, some of it's free, and we'll explore different things in general, and it's really going to not only let you understand PHP itself, but how to effectively work with PHP, how to do things in a very robust way, and we're going to explore that in great detail. We're going to get into website interactivity, dealing with page redirection. We'll learn how to do emailing and PHP, user registration, which is going to take that web forms section and really expand things into a robust way to do user registration. And then we'll jump into other ways of working with PHP, particularly working with sessions. Now, when you get all of this together, you have your web forms, you know how to put PHP into a page, you know how to dynamically create JavaScript, for example, from the server side back to the client side. You know how to actually process form variables, how to get information into a database. Well, you're almost there to having a complete site. And with a complete site, sometimes you want to monitor the session. When somebody comes to your page, you want to be able to know information about that particular user. You want to know what type of browser maybe they have or what their IP address is. Then you want to be able to actually manage things like with a a cart, for example, a shopping cart, you want to be able to control the variables that are passed throughout the website. And that way you can track them, but not to track them really, but you want to, you could, you definitely could, and lots of websites do that, tracking on the site, of course, we're not talking about leeching emails and spamming people, but what we're talking about is giving your users something that's very, very interactive, that maybe they have the ability to change things, and this can really help with PHP. So we'll work with sessions having variables in memory on the server side that remember the users. And we'll complete that with a login system that's based off of the other things we did with forms. And I'll show you how to get all this, all the pieces together of the language that we're learning, how to pull those pieces together. And then last but not least, we'll work with cookies and we'll do debugging. So these are just the samples. We have a lot more in store, of course. And I think it's a very, very exciting course. I think it's going to deal a lot with the language itself but it also is going to deal with getting you up to speed with putting your creativity online, understanding this language, and making it work for you, along with working with MySQL databases and things like that. So let's get started. We're going to jump in, and I think we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. A lot of great examples. We're going to be looking at different editors as well. So get ready. We're going to really, really make things work for you and PHP.